ओके हेलो एंड वेलकम बैक दिस इज माय थर्ड वीडियो ऑन चैप्टर इलास्टिसिटी ऑफ डिमांड आई होप यू हैव सीन द फर्स्ट टू वीडियो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी द फर्दर टॉपिक इन दिस चैप्टर दैट वी हैव मिस्ड वी आर गोइंग टू सी द कंसेप्ट ऑफ इनकम इलास्टिसिटी ऑफ डिमांड एंड द क्रॉस इलास्टिसिटी ऑफ डिमांड एंड देन वी आर गोइंग टू प्रैक्टिस some numericals from uh, this chapter right okay so let us uh, start the uh, lesson uh, let us quickly first revise the things that we have done so far so that uh, we can understand the concept so you can see here the first uh, slide uh, the first slide uh, was like uh, was like this where uh, i explained you the concept of elasticity of demand i told elasticity of demand the concept was given by alfred marshall and what does elasticity actually means it means degree of responsiveness so we have already gone through this uh, definitions then uh, i have told you the different types of elasticity that is price elasticity income elasticity cross price cross price elasticity and advertising elasticity this uh, advertising elasticity is not there in our syllabus so we will not go uh, for this topic so we are going to uh, limit ourselves with uh, these three concept of elasticity where price elasticity i have already explained to you then we have a, a little bit this is the third slide where i told you what actually the price elasticity of demand means and what is the formula how we calculate the price elasticity of demand and the importance of this minus sign in price elasticity of demand then uh, the different three methods that we have gone uh, through to find out the price elasticity one is called percentage method Uh, total expenditure method i told you to remember this uh, table so that you can uh, answer in in examination then point method or what we call geometrical method also one of our important uh, method of finding the price elasticity by a formula lower segment by upper segment right then uh, per degree of price elasticity i told degree means nothing but it is the different value of uh, some special value of price elasticity so we have seen this also where perfectly inelastic demand this we have uh, discussed what is perfectly inelastic demand what is uh, perfectly elastic demand unitary elastic demand case of elastic demand and inelastic demand so these are something we have already discussed uh, then factors affecting price elasticity of demand we have we have also discussed uh, this topic where i told that uh, how availability of substitute affect the price elasticity of demand uh, portion of income spent how that uh, affect the price elasticity of demand and uh, the three more factors that you see here right okay so uh, this was a table uh, summary for uh, the uh, factors affecting demand that uh, in short we can see and we can find out that whether the uh, price elasticity will be elastic or inelastic in nature in case of uh, uh, the uh, in case of these possibilities right okay so today we are going to start from here today we are going to start with a topic called income elasticity as i told elasticity is nothing but it is a degree of responsiveness Uh, of a consumer and here the word responsiveness means that how the consumer uh, is responding to the change in any one of the determinant of the demand let it may it be a price or it may be a income so when we are talking about income elasticity basically uh, we are talking about that how the consumer is going to change his quantity purchase when there is a change in income of the consumer assuming the all other determinant like price price of the related good advertisement test and preference to remain constant so that is what actually the concept of income elasticity then you will find that in case of this income elasticity we use this formula here that is uh, elasticity income elasticity of demand is nothing but it is given by a formula percentage change in quantity demand by percentage change in income you can look here uh, i have not given any minus symbol here the, because uh, actually uh, this formula is been given uh, taking into consideration the normal good and we know that in case of normal good uh, price and uh, income are directly actually the sorry the quantity and income is directly related you can look here a little bit of derivations to find out the uh, usual formula that we are going to use uh, all the time while solving the problem of income elasticity so we say that uh, income elasticity is nothing but it is delta q that is change in the quantity purchase or change in the quantity quantity demand by delta y y represent here income so that is change in income of the consumer into 
initial income and initial quantity the formula is uh, exactly uh, same as what we have seen in price elasticity of demand only the differences that in case of price elasticity we have used price here uh, in these two cases but here in case of income elasticity we are using income uh, here in these two places so that is what actually the formula of income elasticity okay so you can see here that is again we are uh, going through one more that is a different concept called degree of income elasticity uh, in degree of income elasticity if you look here then we can uh, talk about there are three different degrees that we can talk about one is called positive income elasticity and you can see in the next slide uh, it is negative income elasticity and zero income elasticity so basically there are three different degrees of income elasticity of demand positive negative and zero so that means uh, what we are actually talking that uh, when we will calculate the uh, income elasticity numerically then we will get positive value uh, negative value and zero so what actually this positive negative and zero implies we can understand when we will go through these topic right so wh what we say when income elasticity generally when income elasticity of demand is positive we say the nature of the commodity is normal because uh, while revising uh, while going through the con uh, theory of demand chapter we have seen that normal goods the definition of normal good just uh, uh, reminder to you uh, normal goods are those good whose demand increases with increase in income so what we see that income and demand are positively related so in this case what we get is a positive value of income elasticity but positive again if if i go further uh, if i further break this then you are going to find that positive means uh, it will be great uh, it can be a fraction it can be equal to one or it can be greater than one so that is what actually the point is you can see here the three point i have uh, put here so positive means uh, greater than zero but less than one so that means it is a fraction so if that is a case we say income elasticity is less than one that is also a positive value and that situation or that condition is called income inelastic you can look here if the percentage change in quantity demand of a commodity is less than percentage change in income then it is called income inelastic okay let us uh, have a discussion as i told that what uh, the point is the point is like this that uh, simply if you remember the uh, few uh, diagrams that i have drawn in case of price elasticity you have seen the different uh, shape of the demand curve and on that shape the different value of price elasticity uh, was determined here also the similarly what we are talking when we are talking about inelastic income in inelastic we are trying to say that percentage change in quantity demanded will be less than the percentage change in income so there will be a large change in income but with respect to that the change in uh, demand will be less if this is a condition or if this is a situation then we say that is a case of income in elastic similarly we have a first category here you can see here income elastic income elastic just means uh, mean the opposite so what we see here when there is a change in income uh, when there is a small change in income we find there is a large change in uh, demand that means the change in demand will be greater than the change in income so if that is a case we uh, say that the nature of uh, income elasticity is income elastic that is called income elastic in nature and this is normally we see in case of luxurious good like car televisions and etc whereas uh, the third we have uh, unit elastic uh, unit income elastic so unit income elastic means the concept is like this that uh, when income is going to change the quantity demand will also change but the change in both income and uh, income and demand will be same so if the percentage change in uh, income and the percentage change in uh, demand is going to be same then that is a case of unit elastic unique unit income elastic so that is what we have a uh, three further classification of uh, positive income elasticity okay so let me go for the next slide if, if you look here in the next slide then you're going to find we have a two more degrees of income elasticity one is called negative income elasticity what is this negative income elasticity is nothing but uh, the concept is like this where we say that with rise in income the uh, quantity demand fall and we already know from this explanation or if you remember uh, in theory of demand we have talked about one more commodity and that was inferior commodity 
and I told in case of inferior commodity what we see that when income of the consumer rise the there is a fall in the demand for the commodity so that is what actually inferior so we are look we are seeing that there is an inverse relation between demand and income so that if that is the case we will get a negative value of income elasticity and that is called negative income elasticity and this is normally found in case of inferior commodities like maize bajra jowar or etc like this right so that is a case of negative income elasticity and finally we'll come on to the third degree of uh, uh, income elasticity that is called zero income uh, elasticity so zero income elasticity simply means that when there will be a change in income of the consumer the de quantity demand is not going to change so if quantity demand will not change uh, and income is changing then that is a situations where we uh, say the value of the income elasticity will come to zero and this is uh, generally you can uh, why i am saying this i can also make you understand from the formula when we are talking about zero let us let us take this formula so if you take this formula zero when zero can come so zero will come when the numerator part is zero so zero by something will always come zero so therefore we are telling that when income elasticity is equals to zero it simply means that percentage change in quantity demand is zero and percentage change in income can be anything so zero by something will come zero so for using that logic i am saying that uh, income elasticity will be zero when there will be no change in uh, quantity demand even if the income is changing and we find this kind of uh, kind of situation in case of inexpensive goods of necessity this is also we have discussed like salt sugar matchbox or something which is necessity but not very expensive in our life so that is what actually the three degree of income elasticity okay so we'll move on to further uh, slide to see what is there next look here the third type of elasticity that we are going to discuss here is a cross elasticity of demand and i told you also before that uh, see here the word cross is used cross means basically uh, here in cross elasticity we are uh, concerned about two types of commodities that is called substitute commodity and complementary commodity substitute if you remember uh, substitute commodities examples i have given like tea and coffee pen and pencil etc whereas uh, for complementary uh, goods uh, i have given you some examples like car and petrol pen and ink and etc so basically when we are interested to find out the relation between these type of commodities say suppose if i am interested to find out that how much there will be a change in the demand for tea when the price of coffee is going to change then that is a that is something we are interested to find out the cross elasticity of demand so this is what actually a concept of cross elasticity you can see here the definition is written uh, cross elasticity of demand is defined as percentage change in quantity demand of commodity uh, with respect to change in the price of its related commodity so that is what actually uh, cross elasticity and you can see here the formula the cross elasticity is calculated by this formula that is percentage change in quantity demand for commodity x by percentage change in price of commodity y and a little bit of derivations you can uh, i'll focus here in this that is cross elasticity is equals to delta qx so x represent here commodity x so it can be anything uh, commodity x so when the, what is the change in the demand for commodity x and here in the denominator you can see that is delta py delta py represent here another commodity y can be a substitute commodity or it can be a complementary commodity so i am interested to know that what is the change in the demand for commodity x when there is a change in demand for commodity y and this is price of initial price of commodity y and initial quantity of commodity x so using this formula we can find out the value of cross elasticity of demand so this is what actually the concept of cross elasticity of demand is okay and again we have a uh, three degrees here that is cross elasticity of demand also have a uh, three degree that is called positive cross elasticity negative cross elasticity and zero cross elasticity so basically uh, positive cross elasticity means that when the price of commodity say y is going to increase then the demand for commodity x is also going to increase and we have seen in case of substitute good uh, this situation take place right so when the price of coffee will rise 
that is a uh, uh, price of y is going to rise what we see the demand for t also rises so the price and demand is moving in the same direction in case of substitute good and therefore we get the positive value of cross elasticity why i'm saying positive you can just have a look into the formula so if percentage change in quantity demand is a positive and this is also positive then we are going to get the entire calculation we are going to get in positive positive term so we are saying that this is a positive cross uh, positive cross elasticity is generally found in case of substitute good negative uh, we have seen that a negative cross elasticity is commonly found in a uh, complementary good so if you take here some examples like car and petrol so when price of petrol will rise I told you what will happen to the demand for the private vehicles it is going to fall so when price of petrol rises people prefer shift their preference from private vehicles to the public vehicles and as a result the demand for car fall so we see that uh, there is a inverse relation between price and uh, quantity and uh, if there is an inverse relation we are going to get a negative cross elasticity of demand so that is a case of negative cross elasticity the question comes like this that uh, what is the value of uh, cross elasticity of demand for complementary good and what is the value of cross elasticity of demand for substitute good and last we have here that is zero cross elasticity zero cross elasticity uh, is a situation where we see uh, where we see that there is a no change in demand for commodity x when there is a change in price of commodity y please uh, note my word what I'm trying to say here zero cross elasticity is generally a case when the two goods are not at all related to each other when they're not at all related you can see here for example I have taken an example of T and television so there is a no relationship between T and television so if the price of T goes up then definitely we cannot say that what will happen to the demand for television so t and television are not neither substitute they are not uh, nor complementary so since there is a no relation between t and television so we cannot say what is the value of cross elasticity of demand in case of t and te television so in that case we get the value of cross elasticity as zero so this is again so a very important question that comes uh, that uh, what is the value of uh, uh, cr cross elasticity of demand in case of uh, goods that are not related to each other so we can give the answer that uh, in case of non-related good the value of cross elasticity is equals to zero so these are the three uh, degree of cross elasticity of demand so we are done with the topics uh, that is the concept uh, and I told that uh, numericals uh, are also there in this chapter so I'll show you uh, two or three numericals so that uh, you can practice at home from your book so for class 10 student you can see that uh, you can uh, uh, take out page number 34 of uh, this chapter and you're going to find that there are around 11 numericals problem or uh, problem sums so you can solve these uh, problem sums i'll show you some that how to solve uh, these problems right so let me uh, show the first uh, type of sums uh, first type of numerical that come from this chapter you can see here in this slide uh, the question is like this that the price of a commodity goes up from rupees 5 to 6 so initially the price was 5 and now the price has increased so following the law of demand what we generally expect that the demand for the commodity will fall and you can see here as a result of which the demand fall from 10 unit to 8 unit so that is what actually the law of demand is followed so price is rising and the demand is falling from 10 to 8 unit what we have been asked to find we have been asked to find price elasticity of demand you can see here the solutions I have uh, shown here so that you can also practice in the same manner so initial price p1 uh, initially the price was 5 then the final price what I have given us a name that is p2 is uh, 6 so I want to find out the change in the price so change in the price is 6 min final minus initial that is equals to 1 and I told you uh, while uh, talking about the price elasticity that change in uh, economics we represent a change in uh, mathematics also we represent with a symbol delta so delta p the value of delta p I am getting as 1 similarly initial quantity was 10 and final quantity uh, is 8 so therefore change if I want to find out the change then delta q is 8 minus 10 because final minus initial and that is equals to minus 2 so now if i use the formula of price elasticity that is ed equals to minus delta q by delta p into p by q then i'll uh, substitute all the values that i have calculated from here so this is minus so delta q change in quantity is how much minus 2 so i have put here minus 2 and delta p change in price is 1 so i put here 1 into 
initial price initial price was 5 and initial quantity was uh, 10 so that is 5 by 10 so after the calculation because this minus and minus will become positive and uh, after the calculation that is 5 and uh, 5 to the 10 and then 2 and 2 will cancel out so what we are getting the value of elasticity we are getting as 1 and this is a case of unit elastic you remember I told that is a uh, unit elastic so when the value of elasticity unit elastic uh, when the value of that is when the value of elasticity is equals to 1 that is a case of unit elastic and here we draw the demand curve as rectangular hyperbola if you remember uh, the first two video that uh, was there uh, I have shown in the first two video of this chapter that is in case of unit elastic the demand curve is rectangular hyperbola or it is a 45 degree downward sloping 45 degree line so that is what the first sum let us go for the second type of numerical problem that we see here look this is a second type of problem sum that uh, we generally find in this chapter. It is told the price elasticity is 2. So in this case, we are not asked to find out the, what is price elasticity, if, but price elasticity is already given. The percentage change in price is also given. And what we have been asked to find is percentage change in quantity demand. So there are two uh, values are already given and we have been asked to find out the percentage change in quantity demand. So you can see here the solution. Uh, price elasticity is given as 2. Percentage change in price is also given. That is 5%. I'm using the formula of ED as this in this case you can uh, just uh, a point uh, to note you can look here uh, while explaining you sorry while explaining you the first sum I have used the formula of ED as this because according to my question this formula was more applicable but in this case I'm using the uh, this formula that is also called mother formula percentage change in quantity demand by percentage change in price and after the derivation we have got uh, that formula that is delta Q by delta P into P by Q so ED is nothing but it is minus percentage change in quantity demand by percentage change in price. So let me just substitute all the values. So we have got, we know what is the value of elasticity of demand. It is 2 and percentage change in quantity demand uh, we have to find. So I left it uh, as it is and percentage change in price is 5. So I put here 5. So if you do the cross multiplication. So if I do the cross multiplication or if I want to take this 5 this side then I have to multiply. And you can look here that is what the next line show that percentage change in quantity demand is equals to ED into 5. Mane price elasticity into 5. So that is 2 into 5 because the value of elasticity is given as 2 and 2 into 5 is nothing but it is 10. So I can say that percentage change in quantity demand is coming 10 as an answer. So we can use this formula also or we can use the uh, use uh, this formula also to find out the price elasticity of demand. Right. So I hope you have understood uh, that how to solve this problem. So I'll show you one more uh, numerical and then you can practice it from your book. Uh, the, there are 11 sums class 12 also. There are many. Uh, uh, numericals that is given uh, in the exercise so you can practice in case you are having any difficulty or problem with uh, uh, sums when we are going to meet in the class I'll help you out to uh, solve those problem okay let us uh, have a look on the third sum look at the third sum it is told that due to 10% fall in the price its quantity demand rises from 400 unit to 450 unit calculate the price elasticity just have a look to the difference here one of the figure is given in percentage and the other is given in numbers so therefore what I have to do either I have to convert uh, both into percentage or I have to convert both into numbers so what I have done this is my solution you can see here so percentage change in price was given as 10% initial quantity was given 400 and uh, final quantity was given 450 so q1 is also given and q2 is also given so i'm using this formula that is percentage change first what i'm i'm interested i'm interested to convert this figure into percentage so that i can use uh, uh, my mother formula that is ed equals to percentage change in quantity demand by percentage change in price so how to convert as i told you uh, while explaining the uh, concept also so percentage change in quantity demand is final Final minus initial by initial into 100. So final is 450 minus 400 by initial that is 400 into 100. So after doing the calculation, what we are getting that percentage change in quantity demand is coming 12.5. So when you will do the calculation, you are going to get it as 12.5. Now I'm using the mother formula of price elasticity of demand. So after using this mother formula, so percentage change in quantity demand, we have calculated 12.5. So I'm putting in the numerator 12.5 and percentage change in price is uh, already given that was 10. So I put here 10. 
So 12.5 by 10, the answer is coming 1.25. So this is what actually the value of price elasticity of demand. And if somebody asks that uh, what does this 1.25 represent, then you can say that 1.25 represent elastic demand because in case of elastic demand, the value of uh, price elasticity is greater than one. So this is what actually uh, the numerical. So I have tried to show you three numericals so that uh, you can practice. Uh, as I told that in case you find difficulties, then uh, we will uh, in the class, we'll go through some more numericals and the types, right? So I hope you have liked this video. So uh, please, uh, student, practice uh, numericals as well as uh, go through the theory concept. Okay, thank you.